is your first alert five weather with Alan Rose. And welcome back to News 5 at 430 on this Saturday. We're glad you're joining us and it's been a nice start to the weekend, even though temperatures have been cooler than what we saw the past couple of days, especially earlier in the week. You got to say you love that we don't have a lot of wind because that's something we saw earlier in the week as well. Let me start out with this gorgeous live cam shot from our live cam network. This is unreal. The way the moisture from the clouds is seeping down from the cloud base, the light reflecting across some of the higher dew points and humidity up there. And you're seeing just a gorgeous array of colors above Pikes Peak. Right now in the springs, we are checking in at 46 degrees. Again, light wind, humidity pretty high at 45%. Pretty as well for the river walk here in Pueblo where the current temperature outside is 53 degrees and a bit of an east northeast breeze at about eight miles per hour. Also seeing some light breezes coming out of the north and northeasterly direction in Canyon City where our current temperature outside is 51 degrees. And as you look at the satellite radar composite, I mentioned this earlier in the show, we did have one rogue shower move off the southern Sangres and did even bring some lightning strikes to northern parts of Los Animas County, southern parts of Huerfano County. So maybe in Trinidad, about 30 minutes ago, you heard some of those lightning bolts. I think that one little storm cell will drift east towards Baca County later this afternoon to early this evening. Cold front has already moved south of us, but we are expecting to drag another cold front through southern Colorado tonight. And I think that will thin out the clouds at least for a couple of hours and bring in some colder temperatures, noticeably colder as we make our way into Sunday morning. So starting out closer to the 20s and teens instead of lower 30s, many of us saw this morning. And then notice throughout the time frame here on the future cast, what we will see is the cloud cover move in from the south, start to pull in some moisture ahead of our next weather system. Not gonna be a significant storm maker, but I think it'll be a little bit stronger than what we just saw over the past 12 to 24 hours. But for the most part, we should stay dry on Sunday. But Pay attention to areas west of I-25, especially the mountain ranges. This is where moisture does translate to snow as we head towards tomorrow night and into Monday morning as well. But your day planner on Sunday looking pretty good here in the springs and Pueblo. Again, it will be chilly early with temperatures in the lower to middle 20s. Even those noontime temperatures struggling to just get above freezing. Daytime highs tomorrow in the 40s in both spots. And then look what happens here as we take you out into the extended period. Sunday night into Monday, this first wave of moisture continues mainly for the mountain areas. And that's good news. We need to build that snowpack. We know it's been very dry lately. In fact, we just dealt with the fire here in the Pikes Peak region just a few days ago. And as we make our way into Monday night and Tuesday, we get a cold front that moves in from the north. And I think that will bring bring a better chance of snow to areas east of the mountains. It doesn't look like it's going to be a whole lot of moisture with this system, but it's something we will be watching because, of course, if you are traveling for Thanksgiving this year and a lot of folks may be staying local, or staying at home, but still some will be hitting the roadways. This could impact travel uh, by that time. So lows tonight, as I mentioned, they are going to be colder down to 19 in Monument, 17 Lyman, 24 in Pueblo, 31 in Canyon City. Also expecting some cooler weather behind that cold front on Sunday with mainly a mix of upper 30s to lower 50s. And the springs cooler and breezy on Sunday. Then we get a little case of a warm before the storm here on Monday as we're up to 61 degrees with a late mix of rain and snow that changes to snow on Tuesday, pleasant and dry Wednesday into Thursday, and then possibly another round of light snow as we head towards Black Friday. For Pueblo, look at the roller coaster ride of temperatures, 46 Sunday, back up to a mild 65 on Monday. I think initially as that moisture moves in, it's rain Monday night but changes over to a mix of rain and snow heading into Tuesday. Canyon City, similar story with those uh, weather features, the weather fronts and the precipitation that moves through and temperatures really all over the place here. 40s on Sunday and Tuesday, 60s on Monday. Woodland Park, we'll see some snow here Monday night into Tuesday, but it might start as rain on Monday night. And we've actually gone with the storm impact scale of two in Woodland Park. I think we might pick up a few inches here as we make our way into early parts of next week. So some exciting weather potentially on the way. Uh, We'll have another full weather report coming up at 530. Andy.